Hey, what's up everybody? This is JC. What I got for you today is a Samsung Portable SSD T7 1TB external hard drive for your PlayStation 5. Now, I did a video with a Western Digital external hard drive. It's the same 1TB, but it was very slow. So I said, let me try to find the right external hard drive for my PlayStation 5. And I think this is going to help you guys as well. Before going further, this video is sponsored by MODP, my own damn pocket. All right, anyhow, let's let's do this real quick, all right? As you can see right here, one thing I like part in particular, it comes with a three-year limited warranty, all right? So that's very good right off the bat from Samsung. So enough yapping from me, let's open the box and let's see what's come inside, all right? Let's go. Rip it open real quick. Mm. Nice. Nice little packaging from Samsung. All right, pretty decent. Can't be mad at them for that. Okay, got a little side right here. Mm. This is it right here. The T7 external hard drive. Feels very sleek and very metallic and cool. All right. Like I said, it's going to be a very short unboxing. And I'm go also going to connect it, show you guys how to set it up on your PS PlayStation 5. I'm going to transfer a game and see how fast it is. And then we go from there. All right. Comes with a, oh, a very thick booklet. Okay. And it comes with two cables. A USB type A to USB type C. And USB type C to USB type C. You got, you got two sets of cable. All right. So what, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to set it up. I'm going to show you how to format it and move games from your PlayStation 5 onto it, alright? Alright, hold on. Before I continue, I want to give a shout out to DMX, rest in peace, we're going to miss you, and um, your songs have brought me through some hard time, especially my favorite is Slipping. Because there's some times in my life where I've made some, some mistakes, and I, and I feel like I can't rebound, I don't know what to do, your song of um help me man help me and um like i said we're gonna miss you and um godspeed brother but anyhow let me continue now what you're gonna do when you plug in your your external hard drive to the place in the five you're gonna, you're gonna go all the way down to the gear which is settings then you're gonna go to storage click storage then you're gonna go to extended storage and you're gonna click format as extended storage and um, you're going to hit yes. And then it's going to format the external hard drive. So don't disconnect or do anything. So when you get to this point, you hit OK. All right. And then what you're going to do now, you're going to go over to console, the game and apps. You're going to look at the game that you want to move over. I'm going to go with a very big file. I'm going to go with Gran Turismo Sport. And I'm going to select that. I'm going to hit delete. No, what am I saying? I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna hit delete. I'm gonna go right here. Items you can move. My bad. Sorry, for the, sorry. Let me correct myself, guys. You gotta move the items you can move. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move Gran Turismo Sport. Importantly, move, not delete. All right. I'm gonna click. I'm gonna click on um, Gran Turismo Sport. That's the game I want to move. Then right here, I'm gonna click move. It's gonna ask me if I want to, if I want to trans move over. Which I'm gonna hit yes okay and then it okay now remember this is a 102 gigabyte game so with not with any ordinary external hard drive it will take a minute it take a long but with this it boasts that it got the transfer speed of 1048 megabytes so the time should be good all right so let's see how fast it is let's hit okay and let's see what happens Now I'm gonna stay with you guys to do a countdown and uh, yeah and I'd like to say guys if this video if you like it if it's if it was informative to you I would I would really appreciate it if you hit the likes button and um don't forget there's other out there they got um the Western Digital is affordable but it transfer speed is dirt slow cause that cause if you if you're checking my uh, playlist I have a video where I did Western Digital with the HHD, same one terabyte, but I had download, 
that had moved Final Fantasy VII Remake. It was an 85 gigabyte game and it took 17 minutes. That is dirt slow. So if you're a person that wants to just get to your gaming, you just want to get things going, you want something that's going to transfer everything fast, quick in a hurry, I would say look towards the Samsungs because um, they use the SSD which, is, which have very good transfer rate and they got others out there. But for me, I'm going with this one right now. It's a T7 with a transfer speed of 1040 gigabytes. So that right there, I can't complain. All right. And, and the purpose for you getting this, I will say it again to stress to, to everybody that's watching who spend the time to watch it, my videos, and I love you all. If you need to free up some space on your PlayStation 5, get an external hard drive. Because PlayStation 5 on a whole, it doesn't come with much. And these games are very big. And you're going to take up a lot of space. At this time, you can't transfer PlayStation 5 games onto external hard drive. Now that this time, I believe Sony is going to send out a, a software update where you could do all of that. And then I think they're going to send out a software update where you could um, expand the SSD on the system. But at this present time, the only games you can move from the PlayStation 5 onto an external hard drive, it's PlayStation 4 games. And I know, like some, I don't know about y'all, but for me, I love some of the old PlayStation 4 games because some of them are very good and you just want to play them over and over. It's not Sony's fault, but they're slowly building up their library for the PlayStation 5. So you got to give it some time. And for those that are not able to get a PlayStation 5 at this time, just be patient. You're going to get yours. You're going to enjoy it. And we got a lot of um, other people that's going to help you to set it up and get you going. And I'm one of them. All right. So enough talking for me. Right now, I'm at the 2 minute 44 second mark. And this looks like it's at 60% at least. Yes. All right. So now, if you guys have any of your favorite DMX songs that you liked, that got you hyped when, you want, when you're going to prepare for an interview or you're going to prepare to go on a job or you're going to take on the world, you can leave your comments. Or if there's any fun memories you got of DMX, you can let, um, you can let your voices be heard because you know the world has lost a, a giant in the business. He, got, he had issues, but he showed that he's human and we're all human. We all make mistakes. We all go through some things. So it's always good if you know somebody that's going through substance abuse or domestic violence, please talk to them. Spend time. You know what I mean? Because you never know what somebody's going through. Don't be quick to judge somebody because they they look funny or they're not doing things. There could be things going on. And if we, if we come in as a community to intervene, to help somebody, you can help them, you know? Like I said, X... I, I, love, I love gospel music. I listen to gospel music. But there's some songs that X sings. It's like he's preaching to me. It's, it's like he connects to my spirit. You know what I mean? So that's why I say I got my respect for him. And I know the world is sad right now. I'm one of them. I'm sad. But you know, he's in a better place. And he left an um, impressive mark on people. You know what I mean? So take that with the encouragement and, um, and move forward. But anyway, I'm talking too much. My bad. Let me see, I'm at 4 minutes, 23 seconds, and this is a probably about 80%. That is pretty fast. For a 102 gigabyte game to be transferred onto an external hard drive, hey, take it how you want it. For me, my money is on this right now. But what I'm going to do for all of y'all who, who is on the fence, on what's the best external hard drive for my needs. I'm going to be doing some videos in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to try the SanDisk. I'm going to try the Seagate. I'm going to compare them with the Samsung and see where they, where they rank. And now right now, I can only afford one terabyte. Like I said in the beginning of my videos, everything that you see is sponsored by MODP, my own damn pocket. All right. So right now we're counting down. I'm at 5 minutes and 20 seconds. 5 minutes and 23 seconds. Oh, dang. Actually, correction. It took approximately 5 minutes, 24.44 seconds to transfer 
Gran Turismo from my PlayStation to the external hard drive. Yo, this external hard drive is a beast. If you want to go out there and buy it, go on Amazon. I'll leave the link on the, up in the description. But if you just want something that's affordable and that's going to take you a very quick time to transfer your games over so you could get to your gaming or you know you got you got to go to the mall or you got to go to the job but you got to do something real quick yo this is good and you can also use it for transfer files from your phone your pc mac yo this is it right here trust me like i said this is this is a keeper you ain't going nowhere all right but anyway thank you guys for tuning in I appreciate you spending your time. You didn't have to do it. There's other great reviewers out there. But for you to spend the time and listen to me, it's a blessing. Thank God. I love you all. Be well. Be safe. And I'll see you in the next one.